in this tutorial we'll be making our application have multiple teams so we can have a light team and a dark team in order to do that the first thing will be we need to create a new module because like we said the application module will only contain our main activity and maybe a couple of more things but you know that not that many and our team should be available to all the modules in the application so we should be creating a new module for that let's go um, to our project and create a new module call it just core because we will be using this like we said and we'll be accessing this module from almost every other module now let's set up our build gradle in our core module when we go inside it just delete everything and from the last tutorial we created our android library build gradle so we would like to import that and use that we can do it like this with just apply and we just point to our file the next part is if we have any dependencies that are not included in the library build we can just add them separately as well and we're going to be doing exactly that because we're going to be using light and dark teams we want to have access to some of the functionalities uh, from one of the libraries we're using which is the company system ui and we're going to be importing that that's why we added a say dependency here next let's go to our source and open our android manifest file in the core module as you can see every module that we create will usually have manifest with everything like a usual manifest will have but we will not need this so we can just delete it and you should keep in mind that all the manifests are going to be merging into one manifest at the when we build the application so just be careful what you're inputting here and make sure that there are no conflicts between all the manifests but even if they are the build will just tell you and you have to fix it anyway don't forget to sync it sync our project and when we go in our main folder let's create a new package which will be calling team inside here we'll be making our files that we're going to be using for the team the first one let's call it color and inside of it we're just setting our colors nothing else the next one let's create one more which will be called app colors and this one will be containing our data class which will say the different types of colors that we want to have in our application so if we want to have like a primary color or a secondary color error color and so on so every team usually will have some specific fonts or even if it doesn't and you're using just the default ones in this tutorial we'll be seeing how we can implement separate fonts let's go in the resources folder and inside here let's create a new folder which will be calling font every font that you want to put and you want to use in your application should be stored over here when we have added our fonts the next thing is to create our new file which will be again inside the team folder and let's call it type from typography because usually that's how by default it's being made to implement different types of fonts for example we can see that we have sf pro here and we're going to be creating a variable for it which will be font family and inside of it we'll have the different types of that font so we have for example bold version we have semi bold version medium version and regular version the same we'll do with our roboto and again implement all the versions that we have the way we are adding our fonts as you can see our first parameter is the font name that we have over here in the, in the folder but the second parameter is font weight and font weight is important because every time we're going to be calling it the sf pro and we want to access for example the semi bolt we're not going to be calling semi bolt but we're going to be calling the font weight with weight 600 so when we call this we're actually calling this font here and you'll see that in just a second the next part will be to be creating our data class that will be containing our topography so every type of font that will be in our design so these will be our fonts and as you can see 
the way we call a font is very simple. Our font family is pointing to the variable we created over on top. The other parameter is font weight. And like we said, this is the parameter that will be pointing to which font we want to exactly use. So when it's W700, we're using the display bold one. And the cool part here is that we can actually use one font in many ways because we can have our display bold being used in different places in different ways and we don't have to specify that in our design we can just specify here all the different types of fonts and styles and then just use them later on so for example we can have header one and all those settings like the font size the letter spacing and everything like that and then we have header two and so on so this is a cool way that you can structure your fonts and later on you don't have to worry about sizes and anything else and we're just going to be using our variables which are body3, subtitle, text style and whatever it is usually I like to call these names exactly like they're called in the designs I'm getting it from the last step will be in the bottom let's add a static composition so we would like to access somehow this topography so that's why we're using the following we're creating a variable which will be called local typography and you can think of it as a global variable that has a default value so in simple words that's it now we're done here so the next piece will be to create the actual team and again inside our team package let's create a new file and we'll call it team the next thing we would like to make is create two functions which will be for our light and dark team so we'll have light colors function and we'll have dark colors function as well in here as you can see we'll be setting every color for the specific name for example the primary color for the light function will be white and for the dark theme it will be dark when we have done that the next part will be again same as the typography we want to have a global variable that we can access which will be containing our current theme colors so again we are creating local colors which will be of static composition and the default theme will be light so we put light colors here so when we call this one we'll just get whatever theme is currently selected for more easy access let's create a new object which will be our top albums theme let's just call it like that we don't have to call it top 100 albums uh, just keep it more simple and inside of it we would like just to be accessing from one place both of the variables which are local col colors and local typography we just create a variable and we access it with a get statement the same we do with the typography and of course if you have anything else that we're doing here maybe we have shapes or maybe you have some different sizes or whatever it is that you want to be global and you want to access it from the top albums team just we do it from here so everything team related will be um, accessing from here our final piece will be to create the actual theme wrapper so let's do that we create a new function which will be top albums theme and we'll passing variables if it's uh, a dark theme or if it's not dark theme so this is just a boolean and we're passing our content so actually the content here is our full application which will be in our main activity this will be is what we are creating currently but it's just not called top 100 album team and it's called top album team keep in mind this variable is coming from our android library so we just pass it here if you wanna do maybe later on some previews or some way that we wanna manage this manually instead of automatically from the device just this is an easy way for us to do that when we're making a team, one of the most important stuff, of course, is that we want everything to be responsive to what we're changing. So when we're in light team, we want, for example, our status bar to be light 
colored and when it's dark of course it will be dark colored and the opposite our icons should be for example light if we're in the dark and vice versa so the way we do that is again with the library we implemented in our gradle file and we have a function called remember system ui controller which we can access and inside of it we have actually a lot of cool functions that are managing exactly these states that we want to so for example we can change our status bar color like this so when we check with our variable that we're passing from here and if it's dark we're setting the dark colors and when it's white we're setting the white colors we're going to be using our primary color which we have set on the top and as you can see it's very easy we have a couple of more settings that we would like to add as well for example we can add if the status bar is visible which we set as yes because we want to see it we have another function that's status bar dark content enabled so again this is exactly when we have the dark content we would like just our icons to be correctly to be visible on the dark content and they should not be black or whatever the case is so that's how we do it we would like to change also the navigation bar color again on team change and the same as above we change the icons on it as well next let's create a new variable which will remember our state of the colors so if we have already selected dark color and by some chance again somehow it's selecting dark color uh, again it will not recompose the whole application because it's there is no point of it the only way we can recompose everything when the theme changes it will be if we change from dark to light but not if we change from dark to dark if there is a case like that now everything that we've made we have to pass it down to our actual team the next part is we would like to create a composition local provider and inside of it we just create a couple of um, arguments which will be local colors and local typography so anytime we access the colors or the typography in our design we know what to access so when we access local colors it will be accessed from here from our remember function and the typography will be accessed from here there's one more thing left to do and that's actually pass our content and we would like to set a default textile so every application has some default textile and the way you do that is by setting provide textile and we pass the value our typography and the type of the typography we have which will be textile this will be our default one and we pass our content we must implement the core module as a module inside the application module which is by going in the dependencies and on top of them just write implementation project core let's synchronize go back to the main activity as we can see here we can access top albums team we do exactly that and just for testing purposes what let's create here instead of the material team colors we want to access our top album team colors primary as we can see everything is light themed now and if we change it to dark team everything is dark our text is also dark because we haven't changed it uh, but our status bar is dark and everything is working that was it for this tutorial thank you for watching if you've liked it please leave a like and subscribe for more